Teacher's Pet 2004 film. Teacher's Pet is a 2004 American animated musical comedy film based on the 2000 television series of the same name created by artist Gary Baseman. Produced by Walt Disney Television Animation and distributed by Buena Vista Pictures, the film was directed by series director Timothy Bjorklund and written by series creators Bill and Sherry Steinkelder. The film was released theatrically on January 16, 2004 to mostly positive reviews, but flopped at the box office, making only $6.05 million on a $10 million budget. The film is dedicated to Baseman's dog, Hubcaps, who died while the film was in production, and ends the central storyline of the television series. Plot Spot is a dog who wants nothing more than to be a boy, a fantasy he has been fulfilling for one year, dressing as a boy named Scott, lead ready Roman II, and going to school with his master Leonard Halperman. Leonard is looking forward to spending the summer with his dog, but Spot proudly declares, I want to be a boy. Mary Lou Halperman, the fourth grade teacher, and Leonard's mother, is nominated for a Teacher of the Year Award, and given use of Principal Strickler's went away go to travel to the finals in sunny southern Florida, under the condition that no dogs are allowed in the RV. Leonard sadly bids farewell to Spot a boy needs a dog as he and his mother depart. Spot, along with the Helperman's other pets, Pretty Boy and Mr. Jolly are left with a pet sitter when Spot accidentally sits on the remote and changes the channel to the Barry Anger show. Anger's special guest is a wacko named Dr. Ivan Crank, who claims he can turn animals into human beings, who happens to be located in sunny southern Florida. Believing it to be fate, Spot chases down the RV. Spot and Leonard meet up at a gas station. Through many quick costume changes, Spot fools Mrs. Helperman into believing that he is Scott Lee Dreddy Roman II, and that his family, en route to sunny southern Florida, had to return home, but he could still go with the Helpermans. Spot, Leonard, and Mrs. Helperman continue on their way to Florida, singing through all fifty states a whole bunch of world. Meanwhile, Pretty Boy and Mr. Jolly, back at home, see another episode of Barry Anger in which Anger reveals that Crank cannot turn animals into people, but rather into terrifying mutant creatures. They decide that they must track down Spot and stop him from being turned into a monster, but Mr. Jolly is afraid to leave the house. Pretty Boy assures him that they can be tough despite their size small but mighty. Upon arriving in Florida, Mrs. Helperman goes directly to the teacher of the year finals, and Leonard is all ready to play fetch, but Spot has other ideas. He reveals to Leonard the real reason he came to Florida, to become a real boy. Leonard is skeptical, but accompanies Spot to Crank's lab, where Crank has just unsuccessfully tried to turn a frog human. He is ready to destroy his machine when Spot and Leonard show up. Spot tells him that his machine can't work with a frog because it's a lower life form, like his other two creatures, Dennis an alligator man and Adele a mosquito girl, and that he needs a mammal, like a dog. Crank agrees to turn Spot human, and gives him a nickel as payment for being his test subject. Crank explains that, throughout his entire life, people have mocked his ideas I, Ivan Crank, and turns the machine on Spot. Spot wakes up to find that he is indeed human, but not a boy as he expected, but rather a fully grown man he had forgotten to factor in dog time. Still, he is happy to be human, but the happiness quickly fades when Crank tells him that he will have to travel around with him forever to prove that Crank is not a wacko. Crank locks Leonard and Scott up, and hope seems lost until Ian, Crank's nephew and Leonard and Spot's classmate, shows up and sets them free. Crank grounds Ian and sends Dennis and Adele off to find his dog man. Leonard and Scott, meanwhile, are hungry, and Scott's clothes from when he was a dog disguised as a boy do not fit his adult body. They see a sign advertising a $100 reward for a lost dog. Scott uses the twilight bark to locate the lost dog, along with her four puppies, that had been born while she was lost. This prompts the dog's owner to give them $500, as they brought back five dogs. 
Now rolling in money, Leonard and Scott enjoy a day on the town. The two lose track of time, but manage to make it back to the Wentawago just in time for dinner, forgetting that in place of Scott Lee Dreddy Roman too, is a stranger whom Mrs. Helperman will not recognize. Scott and Leonard quickly make up a story that this new person is Scott Manley Manning, Scott Lee Dreddy Roman too had to go home, and he helped him out. Mrs. Helperman invites Scott in for coffee and soon begins to fall for him. Scott presents an idea to Leonard as to how they can stay together. He will marry Leonard's mother, and they'll all be able to live together. Leonard is not okay with this. Scott is his dog, not his dad. Scott tells him he's not his dog anymore. Finally fed up with Scott's stubbornness, Leonard disowns Scott as his dog, and he confiscates Scott's collar and tells Scott to leave him and his mother alone. Scott storms off, leaving everyone else lamenting the loss. Mary Lou of her manly manning man, Leonard of his dog, Crank of his creation, and Dennis and Adele, along with Pretty Boy and Jolly, search for Spot I'm moving on. Pretty Boy and Jolly finally make it to Florida, and Leonard tells them the whole story. He comes to the conclusion that the only way he and Scott can be together is for him to go to Crank and have him turn him into a dog. A boy needs a dog reprise. Scott arrives moments after Leonard leaves, and after getting over the shock of seeing Spot as a human, Pretty Boy and Jolly tell him that Leonard has gone to Crank's lab. Crank plans to turn Leonard into a dog and use him as bait to get Scott back, and then he will have both the boy dog and the dog man. Scott arrives at the lab just as Leonard is being strapped to the table. Dennis detains Scott, Pretty Boy and Jolly, but they escape by tickling him. Scott unties Leonard and destroys Crank's machine by inserting the nickel that Crank had given him earlier into a slot on the machine marked quarters only. The machine starts firing at random, turning Crank into a mouse and seemingly killing Scott, turning him into a pile of blue dust. Leonard angrily beats the machine and it fires at the blue dust and turns Scott back into his original dog form. Leonard and Spot reunite and Spot decides that he is proud to be a dog. Cast Production The film was animated by Walt Disney Television Animation and Toon City. Co-creator of the show Sherry Steinkellner co-wrote the movie and the songs for the movie. On its story, instead of telling the original Pinocchio story, the filmmakers thought of putting a little twist on the tale, which relates to the theme of the movie, Be Careful What You Wish For. Nathan Lane returned to reprise his role as Spot Helperman slash Scott Lee Dreddy Roman II after working on the Mel Brooks Broadway musical The Producers. The movie itself serves as the series finale to end the entire series. Musical Numbers I Wanna Be a Boy Spot, Leonard Company, 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 Company. A Boy Needs a Dog, Leonard, Spot, A Whole Bunch of World Mary Lou, Leonard, Scott, Small but Mighty Pretty Boy, Mr. Jolly, 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 I, Ivan Crank, Crank. I'm moving on, Mary Lou, Scott, Leonard, Crank, Dennis, Adele, Pretty Boy, Mr. Jolly, Company, Company. A boy needs a dog reprise, Scott, Leonard, Proud to be a dog, Spot, Leonard, Company, Company, Company. Teacher's Pet and Credits Christy Carlson Romano Release Teacher's Pet was originally planned for a September 5, 2003 release before getting rescheduled for February 2004. The film was then moved up to January 16, 2004. About a week before release, Toon Disney aired a four-hour marathon of episodes for viewers to catch up on the series. Box Office over its four-day opening weekend, the film made $3.06 million in 2027 theaters, $17.77 per theater, making it one of the lowest openings in history. By the end of its run, the film had grossed $6.05 million. Critical Reception 
On Rotten Tomatoes, the film holds an approval rating of 76% based on 74 reviews, with an average rating of 6.52-19. The site's critics' consensus reads, despite its short running time, Teacher's Pet is a witty and irreverent family film. On Metacritic, which uses a weighted average, the film has a score of 74 out of 100, based on 26 critics, indicating generally favorable reviews. Audiences polled by CinemaScore gave the film an average grade of B on and a plus to F scale. Entertainment Weekly gave the film a B. Google Play gave the film 3.9 out of 5 stars. Common Sense Media gave the film 4 out of 5 stars, claiming it to be fast, fresh, funny and entertaining for all, but they also give warnings for minor potty humor and violence. There were also some mixed reviews. A Dan Cook from Letterboxd. Com gave the film 2.5 slash 5 stars, claiming that people should watch the show before they watch the film. Home Media. Teacher's Pet was released June 15, 2004, on VHS and DVD, and later on Google Play in 2012. The DVD includes the first episode of the series, Metamorphosis, The Art of Gary Baseman Featurette, two deleted scenes, Christy Carlson Romano's Teacher's Pet music video, and a sing-along selection. The film, along with the TV show, is available on Disney+. Plus. Deleted scenes. The deleted scenes are only animatics as they were either incomplete in time for the film or replaced with a different scene. Pretty Boy and Mr. Jolly on the Road. Pretty Boy and Mr. Jolly end up traveling numerous ways to Florida to save Spot and Leonard. Nito awards Spot, Pretty Boy, and Mr. Jolly cheer on Mrs. Helperman as she accepts the award at the Nito Awards. Pretty Boy claims that they can't get home on the RV since they are supposed to be home. Mrs. Helperman doesn't realize that they are in Florida also as Spot quickly figures out a way to get them home.